Hello, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Leah Joy, and today I wanted to go through my first bullet journal with you. I know the last couple of videos I did were around goal setting, and I personally believe that having a planner that works for you is really an essential part of sticking to your goal. It's still very useful. And so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, this is my first full bullet journal. I did start like a mini one at the end of last year just to test it out and see if I liked it. Um, and this is the same brand. I think it's L Um So yes, I bought like a very thinner, much thinner version just to see if I liked it. And I started it. A little bit I kind of but I kind of just doodled in it other than the weekly like brain dumps for my new bullet journal so <laughs> um, but now now that it's the new year it's 2017 and the first week of school has come I've decided that I'm gonna go for it um, because it seems like the best way for me to plan so let's get this open oh isn't it beautiful all right so here it is. It's Lustrum in 1917. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this. Um, so I've already kind of mapped out on a separate piece of paper just a couple of the things that I want to have. Um, and probably from this point on, I'm just going to show you a sped up lapse. Just because I feel like that will be more convenient for the both of us. <laughs> for you and your time. Let's just go ahead and do this. pages so I have my little introduction page saying hello to 2017 in French and then my next page I left for quotes that I like to hear or read I do have a couple in mind but I just wanted to reserve it and put this here so I could just write them in as I remember them or find new ones and then on this page I have Sun and Moon cycles and their respective rituals and by rituals I mean like writing down your goals when it's the full moon and selling or getting rid of stuff you don't really need when it's the new moon that kind of stuff um, just because I like to read about that stuff and try them during those times um, and I also think it's really good to track these things if you're a woman as far as your like own cycle goes and then I have here my goals page. 
um, which I'll fill in later, but I did want to just put the header. I think it's super adorable. And then here, I made the ever so famous books I would like to read a page. I did make like a little bookshelf, you know, like the little cute ones you see on Pinterest. I'm not too particular on it looking perfect. I actually think it looks kind of cute when it's not fully colored in. It looks kind of cartoony. I think it's perfect and I'll probably make another one over here. If I had the skills, I probably would draw something else over here like me reading on a little love seat, but since I don't really have that much skill, I might just do another bookcase. Starts my more actual planning and less just creative pages. Um, so this is my uretic glance, or this is what I've chosen for uretic glance. I separated it out like this because I don't really have significantly big events that come up every month, and that's like not counting school-related things. So I didn't feel like I needed a lot of space for each month. So I picked this. Honestly, I really don't even think I'll fill this out totally. This spread was actually inspired by Miss Louie on YouTube. It was the first time I had ever seen her channel. I'd never heard her channel before, but I really liked how she laid out her bullet journal. Um, it was super duper adorable. And then my next spread is my monthly spread. This is the other one that was inspired by Miss Louie. Um, I liked how she did this part on the side with goals. I put goals, things to do, and places to be. I don't remember. I don't remember if that's quite what she put, but I know she put goals. And I also put what weeks of the year. But one note I would like to make about my weekly spread is that I don't pre-draw it out like a lot of Bujo planners do, just because. I use my bullet journal as a working to-do list, so I like to write things in for the day and cross them off as I go because I don't always know ahead of time what exactly I'm going to need to do. And because I don't always know ahead of time exactly what my date's going to look like, it's easier for me to write it in as I go. Now all that being said, this isn't the only planner that I use. I do use this in addition to my passion planner. And the reason why is because the Passion Planner, if you don't know, has an hourly schedule from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. And for me personally, I function best when I have an hourly layout where I can tell exactly what I need to do or where I need to be at any given time of the day. But because there's not much space to just write like a daily to-do list, that's why I use this in addition to it. And I can show all that in another video if you'd like. I did skip ahead to where I assumed the end of the month of weekly spreads would be and I started a memories page because, I don't know, I don't record what I've done over a month or a year as often as I'd like and then I look back and I'm like, hmm, what did I do? It's just nice to have a little reflection. So I think it's super adorable. We're only at the beginning of the year, so I just have this so far. I had a little spaghetti night uh, with a student organization at my school, and it was super fun, so I drew that. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is my first bullet journal video, and I hope to be doing more because I think they're super fun. If you enjoyed this video, or if you'd like to see more, please give it a like and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye!